What's good, guys? The Isle of My Afro Kicks, and I want to just start off by saying Happy New Year. I thought it would be a great idea to kickstart the year with a art studio tour. I've never actually shown you guys what my room looks like, where I paint, where all the magic happens, but I thought, you know what? Gary V said it's not just about the end goal, it's about the journey. He didn't exactly say that exact line, but what I got from it is showing people your journey, showing people the honest truth behind what you do. The amount of times people are like, oh, can I come film you working in your art studio? And I'm just like, yeah, no. Where I do my work isn't necessarily the kind of idea you may have in your mind. <laughs> so I decided, you know what? Let me just show you guys the journey. Let me show you where I am now as of the beginning of 2020. And hopefully next year or the year after, whenever it may be, there may be a whole new space and a whole new art studio tour. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Hello, and welcome to the art studio. As you guys can see, it doubles up as a bedroom as well, but we have to work with what we got. So let me show you guys where I keep all my supplies in the magic cupboard. We have my hair supplies, we have books, we have other things that have nothing to do with shoes, but we have a lot of shoe related stuff. This set of drawers is all my paint supplies. So we have paints here that I use often. We have like extras, extra paints and palettes and stuff. In this drawer, we have different, um, what do you call these things? We've got an adhesion promoter. We have the tapes, the cotton pads, cables, just all the kind of things that I need throughout the customs. Um, in the bottom drawer, we have the heat gun. We have my little jumper. So this is what I use whenever I'm painting to make sure that I don't get paint all over the place. Um, I don't tend to wear it because I also wipe the floor with it. But when I'm painting, I like to wipe my paint brushes all over this jumper. Um, I also have my airbrush in there and some other stuff. And if you come closer into the cupboard, in this corner, this is where we keep the vinyl so i have all the vinyls here i also keep the vinyl mat in here it's the cutting mat i also have my actual cutting mat in here we've got see this place is full of little compartments we've also got a paper cutting tool oh, there's a lot of things in here paper cutting tool to cut some paper over here keep my tripod acetone old stuff that I've painted in the past. Here is what I use when I'm printing my labels. So I have my label printer and this is the scale that I use to actually weigh out the parcels. I've got some more vinyl here, some transfer tape here. Up here now we have my, this is actually a cake stand. So then when I'm spray painting or like doing paint splatters, I put the shoes on here spin it while I'm working so I keep that up here in here I have my packaging some of my packaging stuff so we've got like the tape that I use when I'm doing my packaging and I also have this I don't know what they call this stuff packaging paper most of this is actually from Amazon so whenever I have a delivery or other people have deliveries I just ask them to give me their packaging paper and I keep that and I put it in my own packages so it's free <laughs> At the back here is customs that I've worked on, like one-offs or things that I need to work on, um, as well as just boxes that I keep stuff in as well. Yeah, it's pretty much the supply cupboard. So we'll close that up. Then we can go to where the magic happens. <laughs> so this is the desk that I work at. Let me move this. So the desk here I paint on. I also you obviously use the computer, edit my videos and stuff. When I'm filming my videos, I tend to put the camera on the tripod here and like shoot from above so you can see more of the shoes. 
and then I can connect my camera to my computer and see whatever you guys are seeing so that I can tell whether it's in focus or whether the shot is good or whether the camera just decided to cut out. So that's what I do there. Here I sometimes keep my receipts if I haven't already put that into the document that I have. So I have like receipts lying around that I need to file, put onto the system and put in my little receipt holder which I will show you and um, we can come down under here. Obviously we've got a printer and a scanner, scanner that I've kind of broken by keeping my feet on there. Um, these are my chargers, <coughs> sorry my chargers, batteries, um, paper, cards, that kind of thing. Here it's not really that important but I'll show you here. Keep things like rulers, tape measures, pens, papers, staples, whatever kind of office supplies you need they're in here then we go to under here oh if i could get myself under here the laptop storage space and this is my afro kicks folder is it a folder what is this box afro kicks box um where i keep my stickers so whenever i'm doing my packaging i like to put the stickers inside there I also like to put this little card information card to let people know that you can actually wear the shoes in the rain. Business cards also in here. I like to keep them all in like their own little boxes because it means that there's a lot more room to put stuff. So they stay there. Obviously more office stuff. I think these are like key rings and stickers that I have. And then this is where I keep all my receipts. It's pretty high tech. <laughs> I've got a folder and I literally like put month by month and like month and year and put all the receipts in here so I keep everything there then we put these back in here so the stickers and the business cards and these go inside my packages so I will show you where I keep my packaging stuff so if we now go up to the corner by the wardrobe Finding space wherever we can. Right in here, I don't know if you can get the camera in there. Yeah, so these are all the boxes for my packaging. I'll bring it out. This one is my tissue paper. So I've always wrapped the shoes in my own tissue paper. Then I have my different size boxes. So this is the one I mainly use. But if I have a larger shoe size, then I will use the bigger one. Um, so I have this one. And then the bigger one, but also the good thing about that is when I'm doing paint splatters, you know, the shoes that have the splats all over it, I have found a way to use one of these boxes to actually do the paint splats inside. Let me come around this way. Stick tape and some paper around it so it doesn't go all over the room. Put the shoes in here on the cake turntable and I can just splatter right inside there. Then last but not least, this corner. Here is where my silhouette is kept, a bit dusty. So whenever I want to cut my vinyls, I design it on the computer. Luckily this one is also wireless. So Bluetooth it to the silhouette, come here, put the vinyl in here and let it just cut my stencils. And then here is just for what I'm sending out stencils. Just got a load of envelopes, put it in there and ship. All right guys, that's enough nosing around my art studio slash bedroom slash cinema room. So if you guys could leave, that will be very appreciated. Bye.